there! Are you sick of being continually bested by pesky enemies soaring across your screen? Yes. Would you like to be able to hold your own against these sweaty players? Please. Would you want to be these sweaty players? Mm. Well, now you can with Super Soaker's Crunker Guide. First things first, we gotta get some business out of the way, you and me. So with Krunker, you're gonna want an account because you're gonna wanna level up and unlock new weapons and you don't have all the classes unlocked by default. You have to make an account to like play Sniper and Crossbow and a bunch of the fun ones. But I'll throw a link in the description to make that nice and simple. Uh, my only thing is please make sure you write down your password because Yindis does not have a good um, account recovery. All right, let's get back to the fun stuff. You're too My good streamer YouTube man, I must query. How doth thou move with such haste? I am aghast, utterly bewildered, dumbfounded even. Ah, uh, my sweet, innocent little chimney sweep. There's a little something in Krunker called a slide hop. How to slide hop. First, jump while moving forward. Next, press the crouch key before your Krunkman hits the ground. This will put your player character into a slide. Then, while sliding, jump again and your momentum will be conserved. Repeat these steps to gain large amounts of speed. When you get the timing down and can chain many slide hops together, the game really starts to become your playground. Now this comes down to practice and getting muscle memory down. It really won't take long for you to get a few slide hops back to back, but actually traversing a map during a game while you're being shot at while you're first learning, it can feel like you're trying to knit your gam gam a sweater with your fingers. Don't get frustrated, it'll click, I promise. I just loaded up my gun with 32 little guns and then I shot people with guns. There are 13 total classes in Krunker. They all can slide hop. They all have unique primary weapons, besides the runner who only has a knife. If I were to come at you, it's all about how I... Okay, in that circumstance, maybe you got I there got a little you. bit faster. What if I... Oh, no! Okay. I got you again. I... What if I zigzag like this? It's that's, so easy that's to get you. Don't get me wrong, all Krunker classes are fun. However, you've seen not all of them are necessarily good. If you want to really get those kill streaks, there's a few classes I would recommend sticking with. Triggerman, Hunter, Run and Gun, and Spray and Pray. Now there's other really viable classes, but for now, those are the simplest ones that I'm gonna stick with. Don't you worry, Runner mains. I'm sure one of these days you'll have a positive KD in a game. Anyways. Triggerman is like the default, you know, your bread and butter, your bowl of vanilla ice cream. He has the default health of 100, he has very high damage output, and is able to carry a secondary weapon. There's really nothing out of the ordinary or super special about Triggerman, but boy is he an absolute powerhouse. Hunter is a class for only the coolest of cats, as they say. The, the people that get all of the smooches from the ladies. Afternoon, ladies. Afternoon, Billy. Take the new suit, Mrs. Wheeler. Thank you. One dollar. On an unrelated note, I am um, main Hunter, and while they only gave Hunter 60 HP, he's still definitely one of the best classes in the game due to his insane burst damage. A headshot from a sniper will kill any class besides the spray and prey. Remember though, only 60 HP, so if you miss a shot, you're dead. If you're an ADHD movement spaz, then this is your class. You trade in your secondary weapon for extra movement speed and the ability to wall jump. Your SMG also has a crazy high rate of fire, so your potential for damage is very high, assuming you track your target properly. Ah, the spray and pray. This is what we pull out when we can't leave the spawn. This big boy has a whopping 180 HP, so you can tank two sniper shots before going down. You do have slower movement speed, but that can quickly become null and void through slide hopping. When you first make your account, you'll notice when trying to customize your class that you only have one secondary option available. You'll unlock more secondaries starting with the akimbo pistols at level 10. Every five levels from then on unlocks a new secondary for you to try out. Just wait until the shorty at level 20 and the noob tube at level 25, dude. They can both be used to boost super high in the air and open up a ton of room for creativity, for moving around the maps, for hitting gnarly trick shots. I love it. 
Um, level 20 is also when you unlock the market, which is where you can sell and trade skins with other people in the community. I personally don't do too much with any trading or market stuff in Krunker, but there's a very active trading community with tons of cool skins to collect. If you want to be able to trade and unlock as many weapons as possible in the shortest amount of time, then you're gonna wanna stick to playing the Hunter class. Krunker rewards different amounts of XP depending on how you get your kill. If you get a headshot, that's bonus XP. If you get a double or triple kill, also bonus XP. Get a kill while you're mid-air, guess what? Bonus XP, baby. But Hunter has a scope, which makes things a little bit different. Because Hunter is the only class that zooms in, it is the only class that can receive all the other XP bonuses and gain more points for a no scope or a quick scope. So, using the sniper gives you the potential to earn more XP per kill than any other class. As long as you're performing well, that is. I hope you're able to take at least one useful piece of info from this video. This was a very bare bones rundown of everything Krunker has to offer, so if you want a part two, just let me know. Again, I'll have that link in the description if you need to make an account, and I'll see you later, little Krunker cuties.